Right, uh, SureDog.com here with Nate Quarry, the morning after. That's all we really need to say, morning after. Nate, I don't know how many people uh, would describe that as a fight last night. You were trying your darndest. You did a, it was a three-round race around the cage against uh, Caleb Starnes. You must have been frustrated. Tell us, tell us how you were feeling last night. Uh, I was very frustrated. I like going into fight. I've, I've said before I would rather lose in a spectacular way than win a very boring decision where I didn't do my part. So I tried to get the crowd into it. I tried to let them know that I was doing the best I could to win the fight and push the, push the action for 15 minutes and you know if somebody shows up and doesn't want to fight and wants to run away there's not a whole lot you can do about it I just did the best I could yeah uh, the crowd was uh, for the most part last night they were pro-Canadian anti everybody that was non-Canadian uh, toward the end of your fight the crowd was going nuts for you, you really won them over uh, when the, the big screen had your face they were cheering as soon as we switched to Caleb uh, the booing started did that uh, raise your spirits at all or uh, make you feel any better well I kind of figured from the beginning that it would kind of be a nationalistic thing that I was the out of towner and everybody was going to be booing me but I knew that by the end of the fight they were going to be cheering for a warrior's heart because I, I know the Canadian people I know how they love their their sports and how they love the fights and hockey and I just knew if I brought my A game and I was hoping Caleb brought his that we'd both be getting cheered for but as it turned out there was only one person to cheer for that, that was bringing the warrior's heart so the fans knew who to look to. Well, you certainly had the Warriors start. Uh, just from where I was sitting, it was kind of hard to make out what happened after the fight, but it seemed like there was a little bit of drama there with Caleb's camp. Can you tell us what happened there? Uh, I missed some of it. I guess him and my cornerman kind of got into it, and he said he was he wanted to beat up my cornerman, and we were like, you didn't show up to fight tonight. Are you going to show up to fight then? You know, what are you going to do? So, so did you get a chance to talk to Caleb afterwards at all? Uh, no, I, I just told him no disrespect. Like right after the fight, he looks at me and goes, oh, real classy. And I went, dude, no disrespect, but this is ridiculous. And so I told this camp over and over again, I, I don't mean to disrespect you guys, but, you know, you got to come to fight.